Hey guys, it's Tyler. I'm back again for another video. So today, happy Monday, if that's ever really a thing. But I'm excited to be here. So excited to make another video for you guys. Kick off another great week. Uh, so today I'm going to do another, you can guess, a fragrance review. Um, but it's kind of like a three-in-one. So I was like just kind of overlooking my fragrance collection. And... I noticed that I had three from the same brand and I love them all so much. So I wanted to share those with you. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about these guys. So these are Diptyque Paris, um, all Eau de Parfume. Um, these are my three favorite. I think they have like, I don't know, maybe like 10 now, 10 different scents. These are my favorite. Um, of course, these are the more woody, earthy notes perfumes because uh, you know I don't really love that floral aqua kind of scent as much I like the real like witty earth tones so let me start with my favorite which is kind of obvious there's like nothing left in here um, this one is the Tam Dao focus all right there we go and I love absolutely love this one it's funny, right before I made the video, I pulled off the cap and, like, the spray, like, went flying. And it took me, like, ten minutes to find it. But it was all good because my camera was dead, so it was, like, perfect timing. And then I found the cap and the camera's all charged up. So, we're back in business. Alright, so, this one is just basically just wood. Um, which sounds not appealing at all, but... So good. So I, this is probably my favorite diptyque perfume. Um, so it's sandalwood, cedar, um, and that's pretty much it, I feel. Um, like it's sandalwood and cedar. So it's like very, very woody. Um, but really good. And I love, if you ever get a chance, go on the Diptyque website and take a look. Um, I'll put links to all these in the description so you can pull those up, um, purchase them if you want. Um, you can probably find them in any major department store. I know they're not available in Sephora, um, but if you go to a higher end um, department store, you'll definitely find them. So, Saks, Barney's, Bergdorf, um, who else has them? Nordstrom, I'm sure. Neiman Marcus, for sure. Um, so any of those, um, but definitely try them out because they're so good. But like I said, there's a lot of them, so get your coffee beans ready because you'll want to smell them all. Um, so this one, again, it's very woody. I would spray it, but I don't want to mix what I have on. I put, I forget what I put on earlier, but don't want to mix, but just take my bet for it. And the proof is in the pudding. The bottle's like literally empty. I probably have like three sprays left. So got to stock back up on this guy. All right, so the next one is, and if I'm saying these wrong, don't judge me. Because like they kind of write them weird, but whatever. So this one is, if it focuses, Volutes, Volutes, I don't know. It's French, obviously. But this one is a little softer. Um, this one again has the sandalwood and cedar with a little like musk and just some like really ex exotic, is that the word? Did I maybe get that from the website? I don't know, exotic um, spices. So like coriander, um, I don't know what that is, but it almost has like kind of like a vanilla tone to it, which definitely softens up the wood like the sandalwood tones so definitely a lot softer than the first one the Tam Dao so Tam Dao if you like that very earthy woody sandalwood if you like kind of a more relaxed softer version of a woody perfume then this one's definitely the Volute because um, it has kind of that like musk and vanilla softness to it um, and then the last one I want to review and kind of go over is the Philosikos. 
look over that one. If it focuses, focus. There we go. So this is Philosticos, which is actually from a friend that was from Greece, is like a Greek word. So it's, she told me it means, if you break it down, it's like friend of a fig tree. So that's basically what it is. So it's very like fig tree. Like if you just cut down a fig tree in your backyard or wherever you keep your fig tree, um, that's how I would imagine this. So you do get the wood notes. So there's like a little bit of cedar, but other than that, it's very green. And I think that's the best way to describe it. It's very green, earthy. Um, kind of like if you cut some flowers or if you literally do cut or like take care and groom figs or harvest and grow figs, uh, I'm sure you would know. Or if you have a fig tree in your house, um, which oddly they're kind of trendy. So more than not, I guess a lot of people would have fig trees in their house because they're kind of the thing to have. Um, like a fig tree, if you don't have a fig tree, you have like a banana leaf palm in your house. So break off a leaf, smell it. That's what this smells like. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of cedar, but then it's mostly just that green earthy, like you just, like I said, cut off a fig leaf so you get if you've had a fig um, the fruit or like even a dried fig you kind of get that tone that scent from the fig uh, but not as sweet if that makes sense so if a lot of perfumes will have fig but it's kind of sweet um, this one is more earthy green because it is the plant versus the fruit so but it's really good if you want something. It's a, I would say it's more of a summer scent um, because it is a little lighter and fresher. Uh, but if you like those wood notes, this is really good um, to kind of incorporate both like moods, if you will. But this is a good one. Um, I, again, let's kind of do the ranking. So number one, I would say, is the Tam Dao. Um, and then I would probably say Philosicos would be next, even though I reviewed that last. And then the Volu Volutes, whatever it is, I don't know. Um, like I said, they have a lot more perfumes. If you, you just gotta try them out, whatever you like. There's one called Dosan, if you like that very like floral, it's like Jasmine and Gardenia. Um, there's also a Lombre, uh, if you're familiar with their Bayes candle which is like the one that everyone has it's like the basic influencer candle um everyone has like influencer beauty guru they all have it on their like i don't know side tables and their makeup prep area whatever you would call that their desks um definitely like a basic candle but if you love that scent which it is really good um you would love the Lombre fragrance is kind of like the um, pairing of that. But guys, I hope you liked this video um, and hope that inspires you to go out and try one of their fragrances because they do make really good fragrances. They're a little on the pricier side, more a little more than your regular commercial um, designer fragrance like a Yves Saint Laurent or Chanel or Dior, that kind of thing. Um, they're a little bit more pricey um in that aspect but they are a really good quality and they do last quite a while so don't hesi be hesitant on the price still go check them out because they're so good and yeah it, let me know what you like um leave those in the comments if you've tried them before i would love to know what your favorite is um so you can go ahead and leave that down below um and if you like this style of video um my fragrance reviews i mentioned i have a lot of fragrances so i can more than happily go over those because scent is my thing um definitely leave that in the comments give me a thumbs up and be sure to follow me on instagram as well um and guys i make videos daily so i'll be back here tomorrow thanks so much for watching i will talk to you soon bye